Okay, mic check, one, two, one, two. I am the Y2K Collector and I am back uh, with a new video. I uh, want to talk about something that has been very popular on the internet. It's something that has the video game community in uproar and it's something that I've definitely watched a number of videos about. And it's the closing of the PlayStation Store. So. Uh, you'll no longer have access to your PS3, PS2, uh, PlayStation, PSP, and I think PS Vita games. Um, and these are going to be going away. And it's very upsetting to fans of older uh, PlayStation games. And I think, uh, you know, rightfully so, if you, if you own these games, the thought of not being able to have access to them and play them is definitely frustrating. And this even more just emphasizes the, the I guess, the the need or the want for some people to get physical copies. Now, I understand that there's also an issue with the PlayStation 3 uh, regarding the CMOS battery uh, or, or the PlayStation 4 rather, that uh, if that battery goes, you can no longer play physical or digital games on that console. So that's a, that's a real bummer. And uh, you know, this is, you know, every time I see things like this, I just remember why you know, when I first started collecting, I, I did concentrate on PS1 games, Dreamcast games, and Sega Saturn games, mainly because, you know, they're, they're really plug and play. I don't have to worry about a patch or a download so much with these consoles, and they're not super old. They're old, but they're not Atari old. And so that's where I focused uh, a lot of my concentration. But uh, without doing any more waffling or, or blabbering, I did want to go over some PS uh, Vita physical games that I think uh, for anyone who's interested in the Vita, if you've ever wanted to get into the Vita, now is the time to jump on some of the physical games. And I do have a number of physical games, but I kind of wanted to go over my top 15 or so. I actually don't even really know how many I have here, but I did want to go over the ones that I thought were would be must haves for, for those who are looking to get into the Vita and play Vita games. So without wasting any further time, I'm going to just jump right into these. And if you follow my channel, you'll know that I primarily get, you know, I'm into the hack and slash, uh, the Metroidvanias, the, the 2D side scrollers, uh, you know, some fighting games. So I don't really do a lot of sports. I don't really do a lot of the strategy based RPGs, but I do like action RPGs and action games in general. And so you'll see some of that reflected in my Vita collection here. So here we go. So uh, first game up is Toykaden Kawami. So this is the first Toykaden. This is just a hack and slash. Um, if you've played Dynasty Warriors, you will you, this this game will feel very familiar to you. Okay, just moving along. Then you have uh, Toykaden Two. So just a follow up to that first one there. More hack and slash fun for you. If you're into that type of stuff, definitely jump on that. Okay. Then we have Damascus Gear. This is a very cool limited run release. Kind of feels like Armored Core with a little bit more action elements in there. So check that out if you're into that. Okay. Then we have Exile's End. This is a more of a 2D side-scrolling shooter action game. Pretty cool looking game. I wanted to get it. Uh, check it out. Next up we have Super Hydora. Now, if you follow the channel, you know I'm a sucker for shmups. Love my shmups, gotta have those. Super Hydora is definitely one to check out if you have the Vita. And following right up with another shmup, we have Soldner X2, final prototype. So we got another shmup here. Definitely a cool one, unique one. And Asia Soft release, check it out. This is a more recent release, I believe. Aqua Kitty DX. This is a fun, fun uh, shoot 'em up here. Uh, I believe uh, there was a YouTuber who did a live stream of this game. Very fun shooter game. Check it out. More of a lighthearted shmup. All right. Anyone who's ha who has a Vita will tell you Persona 4 Golden is the game to get. Don't ask me why, though. I have not played this game yet. Uh, I just know that it's a Persona game, it's gotten a lot of acclaim, and it looks like it has more action elements than a lot of the Persona games, which is usually why I don't play Persona games, because they they seem like more slower RPG games, and I'm, I'm more into the action. 
Okay, this is a cool, cool game. Uh, I can't really put this game down. I've been playing a lot of it recently, but Gravity Rush. This is a really cool game. You you kind of control gravity, um, but it uses like a like it, it uses the motion sensor in your Vita. Cause, so you have to kind of like aim your Vita to where you want to land. Like you you have to hit the R button to kind of float into gravity, and then you hit it again to land where you want to go. And it's it's interesting. The controls take a while, but this is a very, very unique game. And I think it's games like this that really that really make you want to own a Vita. Okay. Next up, we have another shmup. Skyforce Anniversary. So this is a pretty cool one here. This is another shmup. This is more of like a 3D rendered background type of shmup. Kind of has, it kind of feels like you're playing a, a shmup that was designed for like an iPhone, but it's, it's a fun one. Here we go. This one doesn't need much explanation. Odin Sphere. We all know about Odin Sphere. Atlas game. Pretty cool one there. Virtua Tennis 4. It was tough finding this at a decent price. For some reason, it shot up. I think some places have it for about 100 I was definitely not going to pay that for it, but I do like Virtua Tennis. I like tennis games. I even like tennis on the Wii, so I wanted to pick that up. And then we have a 2D side-scroller here. Robbie Ribby pretty cool game this gives me very um like arcade neo geo vibes pretty pretty cool game have not jumped into this one yet but this is grand kingdom it's an rpg i uh, have not do uh, gotten to this but i did want to check this out pretty cool R rpg for the vita shinobito 2 more hack and slash action by bandai Pretty fun, more frantic uh, action uh, type of game. Then we have uh, Arcade 2D Beat 'em Up. Pretty cool game. Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds. Really like this game. Pretty cool one. Okay, then we have Spelunky. I believe this is a limited one, uh, run release. Uh, pretty cool 2D side scroller. Don't really see it often, but this is definitely one you want to check out. And then this is a really unique and cool looking shmup. I had to get it. It's called Gundemoniums. You know, I don't really hear a ton about this game, but it's a pretty cool looking shmup. I want to try and catch some of that there, which is pretty cool. Haven't gotten into this one yet, but I've seen some videos some footage. Looks pretty cool. Dragon's Crown. Saw and heard a lot about this, so I definitely wanted to have that, and I felt like this is one that is just highly revered. Atlas, kind of that vanilla wear, Odin Sphere feel. Love those 2D uh, action games. I'm all about that. And then last but not least, uh, I was able to get this uh, at a local game store. Shout out to Poppin' Games out here in New York. You guys are awesome. I was able to get this from them. Very, very, very good price. Um, and you can't get this game. This is Lost Dimension. You can't download it anymore because it's not on the Vita store. So it has been Thanos snapped. And I guess the only way you can get this is uh, physically. And this is one that I'm definitely gonna wanna sink my teeth into. Pretty cool RPG game by Atlas. Uh, definitely one I wanna check out. And that pretty much rounds it out. I do have more Vita games, but those would be the ones that I would say if you're wanting to get into the system like I did, you know, I'm not a, a video game veteran. A lot of these consoles, uh, a lot of these games, a lot of these systems, I just didn't really have the time to get into when I was younger because I was so busy working. And now with all of the changes around us and us being home more, I actually do have the time to go back and, and check out some things that I just couldn't uh, check out back then. So uh, these are the ones that I'm looking into. Let me know what you feel like are the must have uh games for the vita i'd be interested to know i'm always looking for just you know more unique games to kind of expand my library Alrighty, everyone hope you're having a good weekend i am the y2k collector and take it easy